Hey guys, Buffner Gaming back bringing you another video and today for our weapon conversion series we are covering the M13 and we're going to be converting this into the MCX, the SIG Sour MCX Rattler PSB for a pistol stabilizing brace in 300 blackout. So let's get into it. I'll show you what you need to build this. We'll build it, check out the recoil and see how it handles in game against bots. So right now here you see our final design. So first off, and I'll, I'll show this graphic in the background here, you get this particular blueprint with the, the F. With the FNG bundle in the shop. And for that particular shop item, you get, I'll show it in the background, you get an MP5 blueprint and you get this M13 blueprint. And you can see here, the blueprint name itself is called Short Stuff, and this is the base blueprint that you get when purchasing this. I believe it's about 1,100 to 1,600 quad points in the shop. And again, that's the FNG bundle that you get. So for this one, the we're gonna focus on the M13 or the Sig, Sig Sauer Rattler PSB versions for pistol stabilizing brace, and that would be because of the buttstock there. And you can see this is the blueprint you get. The key difference is the base M13 is basically a whole new upper, which we'll look at quick. You get the M-Lock handguard and the PSB pistol stabilizing brace for the buttstock there. And again, you get some some cool details on the M-Lock handguard. You get some, some dark tape for electrical tape, rubber band, and then the mag, but the 5.56 mag, again, has some unique cosmetic changes to it as well. So if I go to my actual blueprints for these weapons, we have our Sig Virtus SBR, which we covered in a weapon conversion series a while back. And then here's the short stuff. So you can see the key differences if I go from the Virtus SBR to the Rattler are the barrel length is slightly different, but mainly the M-Lock handguard. You can see the differences with the upper changes it to a Rattler upper, upper for the most part. And then obviously the skeleton stock is unique for this blueprint to change it to that PSB pistol stabilizing brace. Very similar to what we see on the MP5. So those are the key differences. This skeleton stock here on the Virtus SBR versus the same skeleton stock on the blueprint. So some major changes with this blueprint, which gives us that M-Lock handguard and a lot of the key features for the Six Sour MCX Rattler PSB. So let me go into my particular weapon here and what I'll do, I'm just gonna strip this down so we'll have our base blueprint for the FNG M13 for the short stuff. And really now we'll have, using that blueprint, we'll start with the base M13. So what we want for this, obviously the blueprint comes with the Tempest Mini. So the pros for this are the ADS speed and the movement speed being a short barrel. So in real life, the MCX Rattler barrel length is 5.5 inches. It's very hard to tell whether or not this is a Virtus SBR barrel length or a Rattler barrel length because it doesn't specify for us. So Going off of the Ram 7, which I believe specifies an 11.7 inch barrel length for the sh one of the shorter barrels, this looks shorter. So I can't. I think this is somewhere in between an 11 and a 5.5. So this particular blueprint allows us to kind of make that intermediary version with the the Rattler for six hours Rattler. So again, a lot of the attachments are not 100% IRL to scale. So they're kind of giving us in between attachments to make what we want, which is pretty cool. So same handguard, so we'll go with the Tempest Mini. Now you have that M-Lock handguard. We're gonna skip out on the laser for the optic. I'm personally just gonna go with the operator reflex sight. Um, you, you can go with whichever one you want. You could also use iron sights if you wanna save an attachment slot. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now the stock, obviously the base blueprint comes as we showed with the skeleton stock. So that's gonna give us the aim walking movement speed and the aim down sight speed with the con being aiming stability. But since this is a very short rifle, we're gonna be using it in CQC engagements. We'll skip out on the perk as well as the rear grip. Now for the ammunition, we're gonna want the 300 blackout since we're building the, the six hour Rattler PSB. And I believe that one only comes in 300 blackout. Some of the Rattlers also come in 5.56 based on what particular variant, but we're gonna go with the 300 blackout rounds. And then for the underbarrel, I'm going to just use the Ranger 4 grip. This one is going to give us the the recoil control and the aim and stability with the cons being aim walking movement speed and aim down sight speed. But it's going to allow us to control the recoil on this because when you switch to 300 blackout, the recoil is kind of pretty ridiculous. I noticed at first when using this. So 
the Ranger foregrip and with these attachments, it's very, very easy to control. So another thing, just jump back to the 300 blackout. What this does, obviously it's a larger round, which we have covered in past videos. And the damage at range, he pros our damage at range, no visible tracers and no enemy skulls. The cons being bullet velocity and recoil control, right? So that recoil control makes a big difference on this gun. The base M13 or the six hour Virtus SBR doesn't have a lot of recoil. It's a pretty stable weapon, but the 300 blackouts, it definitely kicks and can be a little harder to control. So with these attachments, I find it very easy to control the recoil and get shots on target, even at a, a nice medium range where you wouldn't expect this rifle to handle very well. But this is our final variant of the six hour MCX Rattler PSB pistol stabilizing brace. And this is the final variant here. I think it looks pretty nice. And if you were to change, I'll show you really quick. If we were to change up some of the camos, what that looks like just changing the gun. So obviously it just changes everything except the mag and the foregrip and the, the optics. But we're going to keep it in black just to stay true to the Rattler. And this is our final design. So let's go ahead now and we'll get in game with our 6-hour Rattler PSB. Check out the recoil control and we're going to see how it handles in game against bots. Okay, now that we're in game with our 6-hour MCX Rattler PSB, let's go ahead now and we're going to check out the recoil control. So what I'm going to do is just let it rip on this wall and we're going to check out what the base recoil is if I don't control it. So you can see there, it stays true to the M13 recoil. It's going, it's going up, and then 90 degrees right, and then back up. So the recoil itself, we just need to compensate for that. Your first four shots are going to be pretty standard vertical recoil, and then you're going to kick very hard horizontal to the right. So let's kind of try and control it now. So you can see they're pretty easy to control. We're able to keep keep rounds pretty on target versus not controlling. It's going all over the place, right? And you can see if we're not controlling it, one, two, three are vertical, and then it's gonna shift hard right. So let's try it once more. Let's shoot up here now. Let's move over here a little bit. We'll control it again. So again, you're gonna get that initial kick and then it's gonna wanna go right. So right there, we're able to keep everything pretty tight. Let's try it once more. Pretty accurate, right? And this is this is about the range you're gonna want. If we were to go for a longer range, see if I can, we'll shoot at this yellow. This is probably, engagements can go up to this range too, and it's pretty accurate. So let's try it once more, control it. So I overcompensate a little bit there, and you can see the bounce, but most of your shots are on target. You just gotta be aware of that heavy right kick at one point, but again, I've, Played with this a lot in multiplayer two at range, and it seems to be pretty accurate. So that's the recoil for the Sig Sauer MCX Rattler PSB in 300 blackout. Let's go ahead now and get in game and see how it handles in game against bots. Okay, now that we're in game with our Sig Sauer Rattler PSB for pistol stabilizing brace, let's go ahead and see how it handles in game against bots. And you can see right there the recoil. Very manageable, right? So I'm able to get shots on target pretty quick and control that recoil. Even right there with our hip fire, it's still pretty good. Very, very short rifle being around 5.5 inch barrel in real life. In the game, it's a little bit, I think, in between. Whoop. So it's hard to tell what the barrel length is with this one, just because it doesn't say. But if we look at other rifles in the game, it's somewhere in between 11 and 5.5. Probably around more of like a 7 for in-game. But features the M-Lock handguard, which we see on the Sig Rattler. It feel, features that PSB pistol stabilizing brace that we see with that particular version. And again, the Rattler does come with different, different variants as well for different brace types. Then you can see it just shreds at close range, especially with those blackout rounds, which do more damage even at range, but the rate of fire on this is so good that it just shreds people. Even at, even at medium range, you're able to control it pretty well. The damage on the M13 obviously is a little lackluster, as we've noticed in multiplayer, but it kind of makes up with it with the rate of fire, especially with this particular weapon in these kind of engagements, which are going to be more close quarters. You're able to get shots on target faster 
And the rate of fire kind of makes up for the downsides with this weapon. But again, is it going to outperform an M4? Absolutely not. So the rate of fire in real life is 900 rounds per minute. Oh, where'd this guy go? And you can see right there, very accurate, even at medium range. Even my hip fire is pretty good. And we don't even have this thing built for hip fire too. So right there, just a laser. It's actually a lot easier to control than I initially anticipated. It would be in using this in multiplayer a lot. Before we even got the blueprint, I was having some issues controlling it. But now it seems to be pretty pretty easy with the particular build we have. Oh boy. So I will... You saw the images on screen, the differences between the PSB. So this obviously, this pistol stabilizing brace is adjustable. So it can be adjusted in and out, similar to the MP5. The, in real life, the specs for the Rattler are, is a different gas piston system, caliber 300 blackout on this. Again, different versions come in 5.56 as well, so you can easily swap that. The overall length of the Rattler is 23.5 inches, with the width being 2.8 inches. Height is 8 inches total. And that barrel length is 5.5 inches for the Rattler. And this one features the M-Lock which we see on the Rattler with this particular blueprint that you, we needed. So the short stuff blueprint has that M-Lock handguard with the PSB pistol stabilizing brace and the blueprint in general just changes the whole upper of the weapon to more closely match what the Rattler looks like as you saw in the images I, I showed when we built the weapon. So the downside for this is obviously it's not going to outperform a M4 or even a SMG. Because the 300 blackout rounds apparently don't give you more damage, just more damage at range. So the rounds don't drop off damage-wise. So it's not really going to outperform a MP5 or one of the SMGs that has the fast rate of fire. But it does its job. I think it's overall it's still a very good build. And I've had more success with this in multiplayer than I did the, the base M13 or any other variations of it particular one just handles really well and it's a lot easier to control the recoil with this also and you can see it definitely just wrecks through people with those blackout rounds so let's see here so let me know what you guys think of this down below do you have this blueprint are you going to purchase it in the shop i know i missed it the first time around when it came up and then it came up yesterday in the shop and i made sure to get it because i didn't even see it uh, initially, I think the shop difference person to person based on what you get, what you don't get. But this came up in the just for me section of the shop, which was added yesterday. So after reviewing it, I said I definitely need to get this to make the Rattler because it looked very similar. So I do like that part about the blueprints that they changed the look of the weapon. Like I said, this is basically a whole upper change. We've got the M-Lock handguard. The skeleton stock is different. So blueprints that change the look of the weapon are exactly what I want in this game. There's endless possibilities with this too, which is great with their blueprint system is just changing, reskinning weapons to look to look like different weapons. Even if their performance isn't isn't different, I'm completely fine with just having reskinned weapons. That works out pretty well for me instead of just adding a bunch of weapons to the game, which would be harder to balance. They can just add the skins, and this is one of my favorite skins so far, just by just because of what it gives us. So let me know down below what you think. Have you purchased this? Do you want to purchase it? What do you think of this particular build? Is this something you would use? Are you a fan of the M13 or not? I know we were using it in some live streams a couple weeks back, and it was just... We leveled it up, and it just wasn't performing, getting outperformed by by M4s and everything left to right because the damage just isn't enough. But with the blackout adds a little bit of damage at the range especially, so I think this particular build works out and is one of my favorite for the M13 so far. So, Also be sure to give me a follow down below on my Twitch as well as my social media accounts. we got Twitter and Instagram down there as well. If you want to get a hold of me, those are probably some of the best spots to do so. And we'll be live streaming over on Twitch as well as mostly YouTube, usually on the weekends. So be sure you give me a follow there. That way you'll be notified uh, when I go up. And we, we have pretty good interactive live streams with you guys, which I enjoy. So 
be sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you're not already. It really helps out the smaller channels like myself. And we've grown quite a lot. We just hit over 8,000 at the point of making this video. We're about 8,100. So I really appreciate the support, guys. But this is the Sig Sauer MCX Rattler PSB. And I'm Buffner Gaming. Until next time, Buffner Gaming. Out.